Hello everybody, welcome back to Dark Souls Remastered. Uh, in this episode we're going to do a couple of optional things. And I've started down here just because um, Andre's infernal <laughs> rattling of his uh, blacksmithery in here was uh, getting on my nerves a little bit. So, uh, before we continue into Dark Root Garden, then we're going to go ahead and speak to an NPC. This isn't necessarily important, but I'd just like to make sure that I do it, just in case it triggers anything. Uh, plus I think it's quite funny, so I'm going to leave this dialogue in. Do, 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 do. So we're getting a decent amount of uh, interaction from you guys, which is really, really good. Hopefully uh, we can continue mm. having a conversation mm. down in the comment selection mm. below. So, uh, Siegvard is probably, not Siegvard, this is Siegmaier mm. in, this, in this game, right? Mm. He's probably my favourite character in the oh. game, um, uh, apart from Sully. You know, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to get through this. Um, He's going to talk about yeah, the gates being closed. Uh, so yes, Sigma is probably my my favourite character in the game, other than Solaire. So uh, from you guys, who are your favourite characters? And it can be multiple. Uh, feel free to pick one or two. Um, and you know, give us a reason why, that'd be pretty cool too. Who and why. See, Sig Sigma is my favourite because he's... Uh, I really like the way he talks, I like the whole... Hmm. The whole, the whole pondering thing and the way that um, he is kind of trying to avoid all of bad situations is quite easily stumped but uh, when we force him to con continue he does and his storyline's kind of interesting as well so I quite like him in any case it's time for us to uh, to make our way through through this area we need to be careful of these guys they are faster than me we are doing decent damage though And it is kind of time for me to start trying to use some spells. We do actually need to start absolutely powerhousing our intelligence up 21. And I think before we reach, um, I think we've got what, two or three areas before we need to have that at 40. So <laughs> I've got some work cut out for me to uh, to make that happen. Now we do need to be careful of these guys. I should probably try and show it. That move there, uh, if he grabs you, it probably will kill you. So be careful of that one. But uh, it is quite easy to avoid, you just need to take a few steps back um, or take a good ranged hit. We do have a pretty good long range poke with the uh, with the claymore. Be careful here, we have got a, uh, an enemy literally uh, just behind that rock. I'm going to show that in a second once we've done this guy. The damage on the claymore is really lovely. Now I don't know if this episode is going to be... Um, split into two for the Dark Crew area. Uh, we have got a couple of things to do. We are going to go and deal with a boss. Uh, and then kind of a mini boss as well. Um, in the Hydra. Don't quite know if the Claymore is going to strike fast enough to, uh, to make that an easy fight. But hopefully it won't be too bad. Uh, we'll probably end up nipping and getting a an Ember as well. So that we can start doing things a little bit differently. Now... Uh, we are going to go ahead and rest this bonfire. This is actually a pretty good one to... Um, what's the word I'm trying to look for here? Pretty good one to kindle, if you want, if you so want to do that. But you are definitely going to want to be coming down here in human form. So we're going to do that. And I'm going to save my humanity for now. I do need to try and have 30 available for when we get down to Kellogg. Or that's probably quite unlikely. Uh, unless I do a little bit of farming, but that's up to you guys as to whether or not you want me to do things like that. Um, <clears throat> on mass. Now there's an item over there, and that is a soul item, and it is a trap. Now the reason I've not gone to collect it, uh, and we may well collect it on the way out, is once you collect that, you can see the bush there, and I think there's two more. There's one there, and there's one just on the way in, look. Uh, once you collect that item, they will always aggro on you as you walk past this area. So I really would not uh, collect that until at the very least you've defeated this area's boss. Now as we go through here, we're going to want to stick to the left hand side. Uh, there are only a few enemies around here that will actually aggro before we reach the little boss that we're going to get to in a second. This doesn't take long at all. We're going to have a big guy in a second. Um, and we also have the snake on the tree. Try not to, uh, to get caught out by that. 
Now, of course, you don't want to enlist the help of the NPC that I'm going to be enlisting. You can just run past this guy. Oh, man. I don't want to miss that. Oh, he's going to slow me down. Now, that move is pretty nasty, and you do need to be careful. Don't try to roll when he casts it, because you will basically just stagger yourself. Shame you can't stagger him. So you do need to, unfortunately, weather his attacks until it wears off. Because uh, it's basically just increasing your equip load by a lot. And it really is not fun. But uh, no huge issues there. And then, being as we are in human mode, we will have a summon sign right behind this bush. I don't know why they put it there, but they do. Now, I don't actually know how far you can take this summon. Um, it would be really interesting if you could, uh, instead of going to the Moonlight Butterfly, take it all the way down to, to where the Hydra is, but I, fi I find that highly doubtful. But uh, if you guys want to experiment that, let me know in the comments whether or not that works. That would be pretty cool. Now, you're going to want to wait for Beatrice to, to catch up. Now, this is a little bit of a two-edged sword. If she doesn't do her job correctly, uh, she can actually just make this fight much more difficult. Uh, any item that increases your magic defense is going to be useful to you. Uh, and it has two attacks. It has like a little, little one like that, which isn't too bad, and it is quite survivable. And it's going to have a big one, which is probably going to try and cast in a second. But as you can see, Beatrice really does some damage. Now, this is the one that you need to avoid. Self heal because that big one really probably will one shot me. But as you can see, Beatrice will kill it on, it, on her own. Looks like it's going to land now. There you go. So, so it will land eventually. Here we go. It's coming in now. Now, don't get too greedy. Get yourself a couple of swings in. Wow, its resistance has been risen significantly. Uh, eventually, it will blow up. Oh, there we go. It's coming now. I can't seem to hit it from there. They really seem to have ramped up the resistances of some of these enemies. Oh, that was really bad. <laughs> Luckily, Beatrice is capable of killing on her own. On her own. At least it doesn't one-shot me. Come on, Beatrice, get it. Ah, I'm stuck. Yeah, that's better. There we are. I really don't understand the vast increase in resistance to some of these enemies. That was crazy. And there we have a boss down. That's going to give us some headway on uh, making some progress on intelligence. That's where a lot of these points are going to go. Um, I really could probably stand to get my endurance up, but um, for now, that is the uh, the focus. In fact, I've got a lot of things I should probably get up, but having intelligence of 40 is very important. But here we're going to get one ember. Oh, at least I thought we did. Yeah, there we go. We've got the Divine Ember and the Watchtower Basement Key. This opens a door if you don't have the Master Key, uh, which we could have opened earlier, but uh, I waited until now because the enemy in there is considerably, uh, well, just very overpowered, and it will probably still one-shot me even now, so... You do need to be aware of that. So, time for us to head out. Do do do. Now, of course, if you uh, aren't feeling the need to level up, you could in fact save the songs you get in this episode to buy the Crest of Autorius for some early access to um, the. What's the place called now? Well, basically, the place that we're going to end up after the Hydra. I think because of how quickly we've gotten through the... <laughs> it's so funny that he ragdolls. Um, because of how quickly we've gotten through this little bit, we are going to make it all one episode. We're going to go ahead and deal with the Hydra. Um, do note that this is quite a um, thing to do. And not really, not really because necessarily the Hydra is so powerful. Unless, again, the parameters on that have been changed significantly as well. I thought I heard something chasing me. That's really weird. But mainly because of some of the enemies that are around there. But hopefully I've got enough arrows to uh, cheese them off a little bit. Because that's how I like to do things. 
We've already rested this and reset the enemy, so we might as well do it again. I spent some of these souls. Really tempted to get to get that button up, but I really need the equip loaders of the thing. But no, it's gonna have to be intelligence. I'm gonna stay strong. Um, if I happen to get like to 30 earlier than I expect, then I may well pump a little bit into vitality because health is also of importance. Uh, now for this enemy, the higher the stability on your shield is, the better. So there may be cause to switch to something like one of the crest shields here. Um, because their increased stability being is that reduces... Oh, you got that as well. That's a lot heavier though. Uh, reduces the amount of stamina you use when you're blocking. Uh, I believe the boulder shield and the black knight shields are some of the best for that. Just in case you guys want to know. Yep, yeah, we are recording. Just taking a quick check there. Might as well go for this guy. We are doing some okay damage with our standard soul arrow, which is good. And um, by the end of the next episode, we should actually have an upgraded version of that, which is going to be much better. Next, we've got this guy that's down here. He's going to pop up. We'll usually uh, attempt to ambush you. <clears throat> it's also not too far, too long until we can upgrade the claymore again, which will be lovely. <coughs> the nice range on that is a is a pretty good poke. There's almost a temptation to have a short sword as well, so we can have a uh, a quicker weapon. But that depends on entirely on quick equip load and how you want to be handling your character. Now this purple moss stuff is going to be quite handy, particularly as we're going to have increased movement speed in water. Um, that's going to allow us to heal poison. Now if you happen to get blooming ones, those are even more valuable against some particular enemies. Is this guy going to chase me? I think he is. Let's not get caught out. Now of course, I am showing some of the more methodical kind of combat that you can do with a lot of the enemies. You can't necessarily do this with all of them. These guys aren't particularly... Uh, damaging so well not damaging but aggressive cool so we're going to go back down this way you might recognise this from one of the earlier episodes in fact I think it was the first episode was the last time I came around here uh, I am going to try and show where some of the items are although I didn't show where the elite knights at once that's kind of a bit hypocritical at this point there is going to be a here we are in the dark basin Uh, a crystal lizard on the way down here, you're going to want to kill that. And over. Uh, where is it? Down here, you'll usually find the longbow. Or composite bow, maybe. Yeah, on here. So we're just going to drop off this bit. Drop off this bit. Now we're going to be heading over that way in a second, but I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that my checkpoint, uh, should I die, is down here, because it's going to save me some time that way. And it is quite easy to die, if you're not careful, to this enemy. Uh, and it's mainly it's ranged attacks that are an issue for the Hydra. Once you uh, get getting close enough and you're able to block its attacks, you're usually fine. Uh, but here, but, and I am depending on this enemy um, still being exactly the same. What I have noticed, I'm going to come with this one just in case I need the extra heals. Technically a waste, but this actually persists through um, New Game Plus, so it is very worth uh, upgrading all of the bonfires if you really want to. As a completion thing, although there is no uh, achievement for it. I'm just doing that as a precaution. I'm hoping I won't need, won't need, have needed to do that, and that I've actually wasted one. It's strange that I am hoping that, but uh, that is the case. So as we go over this way, we have got quite a few threats to take care of. Uh, and by the end of this episode, we are going to be heading up there, and that is actually the Undead Burg up that way. You should recognise that as the bridge um, where the dragon usually resides. Or at least I think it is, I could be wrong, but I think it is. Now then, you can already hear the Hydra. That's the noise of the Hydra right there, the whole watery sound. Now you're going to want to come straight over to this left-hand side right here before it starts firing stuff at you. It aggro's from a very long distance. And I right now need to hope that I can cheese these. Which is what I usually like to do. Wow. You are taking very little damage. Should have attuned more more soul arrows. Have they 
Please don't tell me they've improved their pathing. There we go. Yeah, it's cool. I am not going to be able to kill all these with my soul arrow, which is interesting. Are there any more approaching yet? No. Alright, okay. Can I poke you from up here? Apparently not. I really wanted to cheese you with something else, but it's not going to happen. Oh, another one has aggroed. We really need to deal with this guy quickly now. As so as you might have guessed, the biggest issue here is uh, how far they'll aggro on you and how tough they are. We are going to continue to cheese them. At this point I'm going to wish that I had uh, attuned the, uh, the heavy soul arrow, even though I don't really like it. I think there's five in total. I may have to actually fight some of them. They're not too bad to fight, to be honest. Oh, so that's two down. Uh, I think these can actually drop um, blue Tynite chunks as well, which are also incredibly useful. So there's one there. There's an item, which is basically a bait item. There's the other, so that's four. Maybe it's just four then. If there's only four, this shouldn't take too, take too long. Now then, to draw these over, hopefully this works. Have a long way. Now, of course, feel free to... Um... Oh, come on. There we go buy more arrows if you wish to. And obviously having more arrows will in fact obviously allow you to cheese the mute. Wow, these arrows go really straight now. There are some really, really strange changes to this game. Sorry, this is probably taking a while, although we're only 20 minutes into the episode, so that's good. <coughs> they really seem to have ramped up the resistances of a lot of enemies. It's kind of strange. And I don't quite understand the, uh, the motivation behind it. Now, I really want to be able to poke you. It's not going to happen, is it? There we go. That works. Right, so let's hurry up and quickly get around here before we get shot at. I'm surprised we didn't aggro that guy. Yeah, there we go. He's coming now. And those explosions are the sound of the, uh, the Hydra. So I want this guy to come up here, preferably. We're going to fight him in this little back a bit. Beans are totally out of soul arrows. Come on. Is he going back? I don't want him to go back. No. Come here. I can't believe how straight these arrows go now. That has never been the case. Looks like it's angry now. Come on. Oh, I wanted you to come up here, dude. That's not where I wanted to go. Right, okay, let's bring you over this way. You should have to get up this ledge here, though. Come on. Weirdly, I can't see the Hydra. That's really weird. Come on. Over here. Looks like I'm messing with its path in. It's too far from its uh, original position, which is nice. 
Whoa. Oh, nearly went out of stamina there. That could have been bad. <clears throat> Claymore making some light work of it though, which is interesting. It's going to do his. Yeah, be careful of that. There we are. I think that's all of them. I'm ho I hope that's all of them, otherwise, this is going to go really badly. Right, so next up, you're going to want to retreat for a second. Because we're actually going to go ahead and equip a ring. Remember, do not ever re remove the Ring of Favor and Protection. But we're going to equip the Rusted Iron Ring, and this is going to stop us from getting slowed down in the water down here, which is going to be quite handy. So you want to wait until it's just fired, and then get in over here. And hopefully, it'll move in for the kill. Nope. Oh, I got me. Ooh, lucky there. Quick, get in, get in. Wow. It's going to kill me now. I've died. No, I haven't. Okay, so, once we get into this position, we basically just need to block forward, so we should be okay. Kind of crazy that that's blockable, but hey ho. Yeah, this is really slow. This could be bad. Now, it's at its most dangerous when it obviously has most heads. Once you uh, take a couple of them off, uh, this will get progressively easier, provided he doesn't uh, drag us into the thing, so let's not get too close. We've got a shield there pumping our uh, joints up, which is good. It's one head down. Two heads down. It's great progress. Oh, that's not good. Usually it can't target you when you're too close, which is good. Now the, uh, the item beneath us I think is the standard knight set, which is of course inferior to what we're already wearing. Pretty good marker though, so I do recommend not picking up tips there. Now the best thing is, pretty soon we're going to actually be able to start acting like a mage. Or a bit more like one, I suppose. Oh no! Aha! Run off the edge. Okay, guys, so I'm going to have to cut back there. Uh, I will see you in a second. <laughs>
Come on, round two the charm. Crazy, it's actually quite difficult to see through the uh We can't see the edges. That's interesting. Bites the dust. Now the biggest issue here is range. I really don't want to go running over there again. Oh, so there's one that goes over there. Okay. Missed. Now then, what I'm failing to understand is how it's still over half health for the two heads. There's one, alright. I didn't realise there was a second time attack, that's interesting. Two down. One head left. The question becomes, how do I get it to attack in a place where I can hit it? Because that is not solid ground. I'm absolutely positive this doesn't have the range to get over there. No. Can I hit the head? Nope. Yes, can we out? That's good. We'll do that. There we go. That's what I'm going to have to do. <laughs> That's actually kind of annoying. I should take that in. Nope. isn't going to reach it. I've also not got enough soul arrows to finish it off. <laughs> I mean, that's definitely not land over there. Let's see if we can like pull it back a bit. That could be land. Really not hitting land at all for me. Yeah, I'm not doing a running attack today. So I'm at a bit of an impasse here. <laughs> Come on. 
Hopefully it can do a melee, melee attack this deep in. There's no chance I'm doing a running attack at that. Right. Not like Rich Ryan, I just can't even go closer than that. Wow, I can believe it hit me. Okay, that was kind of close, so I need to bait it from like up here. If I can get it to hit close to where that um, that body is again, that's a pretty good marker. <laughs> no, it wasn't close enough. Let's try further over this way. I don't remember this being so difficult to deal with. Well, left as options. Mm -hmm. It's kind of crazy that it literally just cannot hurt me. Can fire bombs reach it? I don't know if it can. Oops, that was wrong. Let's wait for it to. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to like aim really high. Yeah, there we go. Boom! Can't beat me. <laughs> okay, so now we have a few things that we need to do. First of all, we're going to head around to this left-hand side. Now, it should be pretty safe as long as we stay over on the left. Do do do, And here, the uh, the ring that we have is going to be invaluable. Of course, if you would prefer to take this enemy on that we're about to face at range, feel free to go ahead and reset and get yourself some extra soul arrows. The biggest issue with that is that um, you're still going to have to kill the rest of those guys before you get over here. And I should. I'm going to hope that uh, quitting and restarting the game works here. Otherwise, we have to homeward bone instead, uh, which I would prefer not to do. There we go. So as you can see, we have a new enemy right here. <clears throat> He's going to aggro on us from quite a distance. Now, the, uh, the water here isn't actually going to affect us too badly, which is what would usually make this fight very difficult. He's got some pretty good resistance, though, so we need to be careful. He is quite slow. He's much tougher than his uh, usual brethren. I say he like as a he, but he really probably isn't. Get in the odd poke, and we'll be fine, I reckon. Wow, you hurt. Yes, got rid of that. It's only a double combo, that's fine. Generate some stamina. Stamina! Nope. <laughs> this shield's actually pretty good. Not doing bad. Nearly there. Oh, that's hurt. Quick! Stop with that. There we go. What's this guy down? And here we have Lady Dusk. So, it is thou who rescues me. Most gracious, I am deeply obliged. I am Dusk of Ulus Hill. I Stuff's come happening. from an age long before thine. I cannot stay here for long. So, before I disappear, 
Allow me to ask one thing. My home, Ulysseo, is the home of ancient sorceries. My hope is to pass this profound knowledge to thee. Please do. Would this be of assistance to thee? Absolutely. My heartfelt thanks. I am pleased beyond words. Then I shout. Engrave my signature. If thou art in need, pray summon me from my signature. Seems that my time is done. May the great flames guide thee. Boom. And off goes dusk. She actually looks much nicer in 1080p. Um, so, next up, we're going to be heading up a rather long ladder. Now, if you are worried about losing these souls, which I kind of am, but in the interest of speed... I'm not going to do what I'm advised you guys to do, which is go back to the bonfire and spend your hard-earned souls that you've got from the Hydra. Because you're not going to want to lose them up here, and there are some pretty nasty enemies that I personally quite hate. But in the but what I do want to do this for is there is a particular item up here that is of great use to us as a sorcerer. In fact, by the end of some pretty um, some areas that are coming up pretty soon. Uh, the item that we're getting from here will actually allow us to enchant our sword, allowing our intelligence to boost its damage. Which is the main reason they actually wanted to come down here. That and Ulusil, who I'll show you how to locate in a second, uh, who can also quite drastically improve our uh, bell damage. So, I'm going to go up here, I'm going to go across the bridge. Obviously, don't. Wow! <laughs> the, uh, the added. 1080 penis did not improve the water. In fact, I think that made it look worse. I'm sure this used to be kind of misted over before. So we have our little tight ledge. Luckily, there's nothing to fight here. At least not yet. We've got this. Even more souls. <sighs> Here we are in Dark Root Garden. That is the dangerous. Wow, we can see mileage over there now. That's really strange. I think there's something over here. Be careful of the camera, as it can twitch, as you just saw. I can't remember which way is the way to what I need to go. I don't want to collect or do too much around here. Um, as I'd prefer to leave it as a more complete area for later on. And I'm simply coming around here to collect one item. And I don't think this is the direction that I need to go in. I'm trying to think how I can tell. Now I'll know from a particular type of enemy that uh, will try to attack us, but I really don't want to get attacked by it if I can help it. As you can see, these versions of these variants have more health, so be careful. Particularly that grab, that could have been bad. Oh my god. No, nope, things go bad. Stop it. It's not this direction. I don't know that because uh, it wouldn't be those that we'd be encountering. Whoop. I really don't know how far these would chase me. I'd nice prefer if they didn't. Nope. But yes, this is the uh, the bit that we need to be on. So, uh, I can't see where they come from, but there are these kind of like ratty cat things that are gonna. There we go. There's one right there. Look, be careful of those. They hurt a lot. No. No grabbies. Right, there's one of those down. Now, said catty enemies are ridiculously fast. Where are they? I'm trying to show one again. There we go. They've increased the draw distance here. You can't usually see these early. Um, these will aggro as soon as you start running across. They're really not worth fighting and are just basically more of an environmental hazard than they are enemies to be fought. There's also nothing to collect in this little clearing. We just need to make it to those trees. Uh, that is basically the mission here. So we're going to go as fast as we can. As you can see, really fast. Wow. 
Go, 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 go. If it hits me, get him dead. Ugh. Wow, that was proper on me. <laughs> um, so yeah, as you can see, basically lights on the hedgehog. I'll cut back to there, guys. Okay, guys, welcome back. Uh, <laughs> Many apologies. Uh, in my panic, I basically ran across and forgot to record me crossing the the trees. Uh, let me show you, there was a lot of swearing. <laughs> and if you do happen to die, don't bother fighting the um, <clears throat> the crystal dudes down at the bottom because we're going to be homeward boning back out of this area anyway. It's actually one of the few uh, instances where I'm going to use one of those. Let's change that in now. Uh, so we're going to have to kill them all again anyway, so just so that we can uh, get Ulysseal in, and I'll show you how that works in a second. But for now, we can now continue along this area. Now, there is a lot of stuff you could collect here, um, but there is only really one item that I want to collect, just in the uh, interest of leaving the area mainly intact. And that is a future boss that we can't encounter yet, as far as I'm aware. Um, I think you should have, like, a specially coloured... I do need to be careful they're doing it attacked. Like a specially coloured fog gate that we can't actually get through until we uh, achieve certain conditions. Now I think these smaller ones aren't actually all that aggressive, so we don't need to worry about these too much. It's these bigger ones here that are in fact aggressive. Do not let these hit you. Uh, these big ones are very slow for a reason. Uh, basically if they do happen to hit you, you will probably die. Uh, you do want to aggro both of them though. Uh, and you want to get them f quite far away from that chest. That chest is the target. Yeah, that should be well far enough. So we're going to give them a bit of a wide berth straight into the puddle. Again, still with the rusted iron ring on for speed. And we're going to grab this. Yep, and it's still the same amount. Good. I'm going to roll off just in case they've caught up, which they very nearly did. And then I'm going to homeward bone out. Before I do, I just want to show a little something. And in fact, we are going to do one thing that's going to make this area easier for later. Uh, first up, over this way, uh, in there is an armor set. This is the stone armor, but I'm going to leave it there so that we can collect it when I do this area in full. And then in here is a covenant. And I can't remember if we can join it right now. But if we do, this will actually make coming through this area easier later. So I'm I am going to do that. Is it not so that thou art that come from the of thy Well, I'm out. I command a clock. What does that mean? Cool. See so if we can draw that now. Cool. That's actually really cool. So uh, we should now actually be able to get through this area without trouble later on, which is very handy. Uh, we are still going to go ahead and deal with all of those guys later, but um, as you can see, these guys here are all enemies. But for now, we're going to homeward bone back to the bonfire. We've got a couple of things left to do for this episode, and then we will actually be progressing properly. In the interest of not losing souls, we're going to go ahead and spend these. <clears throat> up to 24, that's good. Only 16 points left, which uh, is quite nice. I'm really desperate to get to 40. In fact, 60 is my end target, but um, I really want to get to 40 quite quickly. Just in the interest of using much better spells. So, our next target is... Uh, Lady Ulaseel again. Now this is one of the few summons where you don't need to be human to summon her and the state of the boss doesn't matter. Obviously that is mainly because she's a an, an NPC, she's a vendor. So, um, we still need to defeat all these guys so let's be careful here. I apologise, this could take a while. And I have already um, attuned Heavy Soul Arrow back in just to add some speed to this. You'll see that that's just a lot more damage. Also does more stagger damage. A couple of these are capable of staggering these, which is very interesting. It's a shame that it's too slow to really use effectively. I 
dodged it. Let's go ahead and get the second one up in here. It's quite funny how easy these are to fall. <coughs> Sorry guys, I really didn't know what's wrong with me. Come here, you. So yeah, you only really use this as eyes of a, like an encounter opener when something hasn't detected you. Um, or when you're in a safe position to do so. Cool, that's two down, two to go. Now, I don't know if the other one's going to aggro on us. If we come over here. Yeah, he is. Yeah, they're both going to aggro. Okay. I mean, they can both come over, that's fine. We have to get back, basically we need to get back over to where, I think we just saw the sign there. Back over to where the um, the night set was, and that is where Uli's is going to be waiting for us. Interestingly enough. That's new. That's new. What? That's never been the case. Okay. I keep on discovering things that um, were not the case in the original Dark Souls. You were not able to move at all whilst you were casting in previous Dark Souls. As in the first one, should I say. That's really new. Okay. That's a huge difference. Not even slowed. I can't believe I hadn't even tried that. Last one, I'm going to take you down with the sword, because... Quicker. Come on. There you go, you down. Now, of course, these guys don't drop many souls, which is unfortunate. Particularly as they're guarding a rather important NPC. Wow, I just got the noise going over it. <laughs> and here she is. So we use some sign, and then she's going to come. I am Dusk of Ulysseo. It is an honor to see thee again. I shall follow. Hello, Gesture. Then we have some a various uh, number of spells that we can purchase. The biggest thing that we want, where is it? Oh, of course, we haven't been able to think it. Um, so, Cast Light is a hugely valuable spell. Uh, this will become more apparent later. You also have Hidden Body. Chameleon is absolutely hilarious for uh, PvP. Um, I really thought we were going to buy more stuff from there. That's fine. Hidden Body is really cool if you want to try and stealth around. But um, that isn't how I intend on playing. But it can make the game much easier, particularly with the slumbering dragon crest ring. That may well mean that we need to go over here instead. I'm trying to remember now. We need to get her um, <coughs> her armor set, basically. May well have dropped over here. And being as we've died, that should have reset the area. Yeah, there it is. So we're going to go ahead and click that. Now, I did be careful around here. I can't remember what point in the game it activates, but this is also where you activate that, uh, where you gain access to the DLC area. Uh, and you'll know that it's happening because there's a big black bubble that will appear and kind of suck you through. And as far as I'm aware, once you go in there, you can't get out again until you've finished it. Now, the importance of this. Uh, I'll demonstrate probably in the next episode. But uh, the headset of, uh, of that gear is almost required for caster builds if you want to be doing good damage. Uh, which is slightly frustrating in my opinion. But it is a necessary evil. 
Doesn't look great. It does give you some pretty good resistances though. So you'll get decent curse resistance out of it at 20. Um, next to no defense. It's obviously going to have no poise. It's lighter than the sorcerer's hat, which is good. But uh, I mean, I suppose on Our Lady, it looks pretty decent. It looks, it'll look okay when she's not hollow. Uh, and that basically increases our magic damage. Uh, as it should say in this item description, I think. Where is blessed with all manner of magic and raises the power and effect of the wearer's magic. Good. Um, but damage suffered from magic attacks also rises. So be careful. Um, and you should, yeah, so you can see how your magic defense drops quite dramatically, although not as much as I thought it would. That's interesting as well. Um, so, yeah. Just be aware of that. So we have one more thing to do before we end the episode. <coughs> Which is probably longer than I expected it to be at this point. And that is come over this. We've got an item to pick up. Or souls. Which we're going to use at the end. Hopefully we'll get another level. Which would be lovely. I don't know how much we need for a level nowadays. What level are we? 30. We're quite, we're quite a high level. The biggest issue here is that I'm not actually using uh, many of my levels to cause damage at the moment. I'm going to open this door. Now be careful, do not idly walk through here. Get rid of that. Because of this guy. <laughs> you do not want to get hit by that! Now I don't know how much, how good our backstab is going to do against this guy. We're going to find out now. Yep, there we go. He, this guy's killable at this point. Um, you are, and that's basically how you're going to beat this guy. Um, if you tank any of his hits, he will basically pancake you, especially if he's two-handing. Um, so try to avoid that as best you can. But uh, this will all become very familiar pretty soon. I'm hoping not to get hit by this, because if he does, he'll probably kill me. Especially with that one. Whoa. I nearly got help. Caught by that then, going the wrong way. <laughs> it's such, it's, this guy's so thrilling to fight just because of how ridiculously powerful he is. Nope, that's bad. <laughs> that could have been the end right there. I suppose we can actually go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him now, the Claymore, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> yeah, there we go, bam! Do -do -do. Whoa, look, wow, we actually have enough uh, stamina to not just die to that hit. Impressed. He's got better tracking than I remember him having. Come on. I need to circle stab you. Wow. Quick. No, 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 no. That's bad. Heal. There we go. Bam. Nearly there. No. That was nearly it. I nearly died to getting greedy. Cool. And there we have Havel's ring. A very, very, very good ring. Uh, and I tend not to equip it because it's very easy to um, get very dependent on. And here's why. This thing gives 30% extra um, equip load. And as you can see, that puts us up to 97. Uh, which is massive, basically. Um, I know it is a very good ring if you do want to be wearing like very good heavy armor it is a good ring to wear um, I mean at this point I can go all the way up to like 40 odd uh, equip load and still remain at the same speed which is pretty good <coughs> which actually makes it better than the wolf ring because you might as well just wear heavier armor <laughs> is the thing with that but um, I would much prefer not to do that, mainly because uh, I'd much rather be balancing my armor set for the equip load that I'm naturally having right now. Cool, so with um, 
who people assume is Havel. Uh, I've seen theories to say that it is isn't Havel, but um, with Havel defeated, it's now time for us to return to the Undead Berg. Uh, now you can face this guy early if you uh, if you're confident that you can withstand that fight for a long time, or if you're doing a much more well-rounded melee build than I am. Um, you can feel free to come through this door, uh, which you can open with the master key. We are now one-shotting these guys with the claymore, which is nice. In fact, we're more than one-shotting them, so we're getting extra souls for killing them. <laughs> I don't know if this guy can guard against me. He can. Wow, I'll put that much damage through his shield there. <laughs> That's quite entertaining. really weird coming through this area the wrong way. So I'm going two-handed here. Poise came into play there, as you see. Couldn't uh, break my swing. One more, where are you? I'm just going to ruin these guys now. With my mighty Claymore swings. To be honest, I probably should have gone a different way when I think about it. Which we're going to do now. Sorry guys, bit of a uh, bit of tension here. We should have definitely gone a different way. Uh, here was me about to end that bonfire when we could have just gone and unlocked a shortcut. Which will save us time for the next episode. Although, to be fair, the next episode is going to be quite short if I do this. But that's fine. So, uh, basically, we want to go over this way. And, and you guys don't really don't want to see me be clearing this area anyway, again, in the next episode. So I suppose this makes more sense. Not interested in going up the time to kill those guys. So, of course, this is the bridge that we fought the Taurus Demon on. You know what? I don't think I collected this item. Nope, I did. Good. Cool, so we're going to come in here and unlock this door. Now this key, if you guys remember, is from where the behind the gate where the boar was. So you can actually open this gate much earlier than I have done here. Don't fall off. Nobody wants any early gravity deaths. And do be careful because there are some ledges you can fall off of down here. Um, as much as some of them seem quite unseeming. <coughs> In fact, yeah, I've got, I, I know how we can bulk out the next episode a little bit with some NPCs, so yeah, that should be fine. So we're basically just going to come down that ladder, and then it's this little stairway here. Now, if you fall off the top of here, and I think it's like down that little bit there, it just kills you. I think that's like a death floor or something. One of these definitely is. Um, and we already killed the guys in here. But here is a shortcut. Uh, I've always hated how far out this gate comes. And here we are back here. Get out. Chunk. That's just something else we could do whilst we're here. Uh, I'm actually going to rest this bonfire and then uh, I'm going to go and kill an NPC. I don't need him anymore, and he drops a rather nice weapon. <laughs> I keep on extending this episode, I'm so sorry guys, this is going to be really long. Bam. I love the Claymore so much. It's a shame that it just doesn't seem to do the damage against a lot of enemies. It seems to have really upped resistances. <coughs> Pong. Yeah, I thought it should. <laughs> Play more stuff to show just why it's so really good now. Do 
do, 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 do. And we're just gonna kill this guy. Now, you don't have to. But uh, he does drop some rather nice things. And now we don't have to pay for them. Plus, there's an extra humanity which I would need it. Cool. So with that, we're gonna use our souls up, and hopefully, we we'll get an extra level. Let's have a look. What we got? What we got? We got that. So these should drop quite a good amount of souls. Um, I'm gonna keep the moonlight butterfly soul. I can't remember that what that gives us later, so I'm gonna keep that for now. Because that is kind of cast rebased as a boss. Um, I will I will look into it before the next episode, and then that way we can we can use it earlier on if uh, not particularly important. And there we have two more levels. Good. Boom, twenty six. Get in there. Points. We managed to get four levels up this this episode. Well, it's probably going to be slower in the next episode because uh, enemies will be dropping a few less souls. Either way, guys, that has been the end of this episode. I know it's been quite a long one. It's entirely optional, uh, but it is setting us up quite nicely um, as a sorcerer. Let's see how much damage we do with a soul arrow. Oh, one hit him then. Wow. Ninety-eight. Not too shabby. Uh, with that, guys, I'll catch you next time.